We have a dining room wall. It's kind of boring. We're gonna turn it into this. On use what you got. So we're gonna just jump right into this. First thing Martina and I did was move all the furniture out of the way. Once we did that, we made sure the floor and the wall was really clean and prepared for the paint. After we finished the cleaning, we moved on to taping. We took our time to make sure we had nice crisp lines running along the edges so we were ready for paint. It seems like sometimes people paint at the end, but Martina really wanted to get a coat of black on before we actually nailed the boards to the wall. So I said, no problem. I think this actually allowed us to do everything a little bit faster since the paint was already done. We took our time and really tried to get a nice thick coat of paint on so that when it came time to paint for the second time, it was almost just small touch-ups. So here I'm measuring from the bottom trim to the crown molding, making sure that all the cuts will be the same length. Once I got that, I marked out my cut. I have a miter saw, but you can definitely get away with using a skill saw. Once I had my first cut done, I used that as the marker for the next cut, and the three cuts after that. The way this will go down is I'll put a board on the right side of the wall and the left side of the wall, and then I'll put a board in the center. Once that's done, we'll put two more boards in the center of the outer boards and the center board. You'll see in a second. I may have been a little heavy handed on the nails, but I didn't use glue. And the reason I did that is because if we ever want to take these off, it'll be a pain in the butt trying to rip off something that's glued. It was plenty strong with all the nails in it. And if I ever have to remove it again, it'll be much simpler. You'll see Martina was a huge help for this process. I reference it later on in the video, but we were able to do this in less than two days. And without her, there's just no way. It would have been very difficult. What is it? You guys figure this out. What's half 127? Go. 120 would be 60. 63 and a half. Okay, so this is probably off. Anybody ever wonders why you need to learn fractions? Here's why. Help it. 31 and 3 eighths. 31 and 3 eighths. Got the main structure down. I cut a 30 degree angle on this side. We just marked where the next cut is. This is just a test for now. Once we get the fit right, then I'm going to mark the rest and we have to do, I think it was five per area, right? I don't know. We'll see. Something like five per area. So roughly 20, 20 cuts. Which shouldn't be bad. Right there. It's a good fit. It's a good fit. A really good fit. Clean. First cut. First cut. Is that low enough? Yeah. I'll go cut another one. Was what? Here's what you're gonna do. 
you're gonna cut another one. Yeah. Oh, and then, we're and then you cut a spacer block. Right. And then you can just put the spacer block in and, and do the next one. But do you keep one of these yeah. as your? Okay. I'll cut like two then. Okay. So now we know this is how they're all gonna be spaced. We're going back now. So what you'll notice is the spacers in between the two cuts. We decided to go with 16 inch spacers, but I believe the more common is 12. But you should definitely measure it out yourself and see what you prefer. Once I got the first two cuts down, the rest actually went pretty well. But you'll see soon, I got a little zealous and I ended up cutting all 20 cuts but did not take into account that two of the areas, the cuts would be going the opposite direction. Luckily, everything was cut a little long, so I was able to flip it and still use the boards. Here you'll see that I measure and I walk away and I come back. I'm trying to line up the top of the cut with the crown molding. I could not figure out this angle and maybe somebody can leave a comment helping me in the future. I kept taking the board back out to the garage and actually running a temporary line and cutting it with my Japanese pool saw. It worked, it, it was fine, but it's not ideal. Later on, you'll see that we ended up changing the design a little bit and I put boards on the top, which made it much easier to cut it flush with that instead of with the current crown molding we had. We'll get to that later. So we're using Plastic Wood X Wood Filler. Comes out pink, dries brown. Gonna be a lot of sanding. So you can already see that it's turning brown. So what I'm gonna do is fill all of the little holes first, and then after I finish that, then I'm actually gonna go through and fill all the larger gaps. Um, most of them are small, but there's one or two that are probably larger than they need to be. So I'm not gonna show you all of the spackling I did. I'm definitely not gonna show you all the sanding I did. I think this is a very boring process, but it's obviously important. So I'll just let you know afterwards when it was all dry, I sanded all of it. And then we made sure to really clean the wall well with rags in preparation for the last coat of paint. You'll see here Martina's killing it using her cut in brush that she purchased specifically for something like this. It's a very thick brush and it holds the paint really well. Her kind of technique in what she ended up doing is she will put a nice thick layer of paint on the wall and then she will come back with a small roller. And with that roller, she roll over the paint from the brush and that would kind of get rid of the strokes. It would look like the whole thing was rolled even though we started with brushes. We definitely spent a lot of time painting. But the nice thing about getting that first coat of paint on the wall was that when we got to this point, all we had to do is paint the white MDF boards, which were already primed. So they took the paint really well. And then it was just a matter of a little bit of touch up here and there around the wall. So this made the process go much faster and much smoother. You'll be able to see the final result in just a second. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this project. It was definitely challenging cutting some of these angles, but Martina and I had a lot of fun and uh, we really pushed ourselves to get it done as quickly as possible. 
This is the perfect weekend warrior project because we were able to complete it in under two days. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. That helps me out a lot and I appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. So um, I, we're both really happy with the way it turned out, right? What a just, just give me like two minutes. <laughs> She's trying to cook right now <laughs> or make brownies or whatever, cupcakes. cupcakes. Um, are you happy with it? Are you? Are yes, you? I'm happy with it. Okay. We're both really happy. That's my idea in the first place. All right. Turn off the water. Shh. I can't do anything anymore. I don't even know how to talk to the camera. Maybe I should type a piece of paper and hold it in front of me, even if I'm on screen. Do you want me to write it on a poster bar? Yeah, and then you can start.